Welcome back guys, welcome back to Crown Geek. Now many Windows 10 and 11 users have the problem where they get this kind of blue screen on their laptop and PC that says your device ran into a problem and need to restart. And I will be covering the entire solution in this video. Especially the last one will be surely working to get rid of this problem. And not only for this problem, any kind of blue screen problem if you have. But first, let's see that what are the major causes behind this problem. Number one can be any kind of recently added hardware. Like if you have connected any kind of printer, any kind of recorder, any kind of mic, anything, then that can also create a problem. The second cause can be updating your windows. So if you have recently updated your windows or installed any new application or software, then that can also be the cause behind this kind of problem. And then we have many more reasons like uh, exceeding the high RAM and the CPU usage. So sometimes what happens then when you open any kind of high resource application or game, then that period of time also you get this kind of blue screen. All right, so let's quickly get started and see that how you can fix this problem. Now, first, what I would recommend you that try removing all kind of hardware devices like any kind of USB, any kind of printer or anything that you have recently added remove it and then restart your pc and check back if the problem has been fixed as many times the simple fix will surely work for you now in case if this doesn't work then you will have to start your computer in the advanced startup so for that what you will have to do for your laptop or your pc you need to press and hold the power button for a few seconds until it gets shut down once it gets shut down again you have to restart it and then when it comes up as soon as you see the windows or the manufacturer logo again press and hold the power button to forcefully shut it down now you need to repeat the same step for three times until you get this kind of please wait with advanced startup screen so here you have to click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option and then here you will find an option is startup setting click on it now here we have to start the computer in the safe mode so click on restart then you will be getting the startup setting options now here as i said we have to start the computer in the safe mode so here we get an option enable safe mode with networking so press the f5 key from your keyboard and the computer will now be coming up in the safe mode with networking so once you are in the safe mode click on your windows search type control from the suggestion choose control panel then you have to click on program and features in case if you don't find this option then click on view by option and make sure it's been selected to large icons so click on program and features now here you need to find the application or program that you have recently installed so on the right hand side you can see the date option so according to date you can look over the application or software and try uninstalling the application that you have recently installed after which you are having this kind of problem so you can make a right click on it and choose uninstall and after that from the left menu option click on view installed update and this will show you all kind of recent update so what you can do you can just try uninstalling this update so once the updates are uninstalled click on your windows search type advanced and then from the suggestion click on view advanced system setting you will be getting this kind of page now here you will be getting an option startup and recovery click on settings in the system failure you will be getting an option of automatically restart which will be by default checked you need to uncheck this option then click on ok click on ok and now restart the computer in the normal mode so click on your windows search click on the power icon then click on restart and you can see that i can see now my regular desktop without any kind of problem now but it's still if you have the issues then again you will have to start the computer in the advanced option as i recommended you in the beginning and then click on troubleshoot here advanced options now here you will be getting an option of system restore click on it now here i'm using a virtual machine and it's not showing me any kind of restore point but probably if you have created any then you will see few date you need to select any one of the date which on which the computer was working fine select that option and then click on next and the computer will be restored 
Now, in case if none of these solution work for you, then finally you can go with a third party software called 4DDIG software. You will be getting this link in the description. So what exactly you will have to do here, you need another PC or laptop and there you will have to create a bootable Windows repair drive with 4DDIG that will be repairing everything for you. So now this can do a lot of work like your ultimate windows boot repair tool boot up any computer that won't start properly auto repair windows issues like blue black screen system crash in minute it also recover the data even the unbootable hard disk reset windows local and domain password enter the backup restore manage partition now here on their website if you scroll down a bit you will find the black screen the blue screen the restarting screen so these all issues can be fixed by using this windows 4 ddig genius tool that will be helping to fix any kind of blue screen crash problem okay so now what you will have to do you have to click on buy now and according to your convenient you can choose any of their plan they also have additional discount the coupon code is this which you can apply while purchasing this software so it's available for one month for one year uh, I would recommend you to go with one year because once you have the pen drive, you can use it to fix multiple problems instead of paying to any technician. Okay, so once you have purchased, you have to click on try it free and the software will be downloaded. Once downloaded, you have to click on the downloaded file, install it. And once installed, it will be coming up like this. Now here you can see it says fix Windows system issues, recovery, export of corrupted system data. Now what you will have to do, first you need to register with the license key that you have got after buying the paid version. So click on upgrade, then click on register. Now here you have to enter the email and the registration code that you might have received on your email after purchasing the Windows Boot Genius. So let me quickly type the registration code and the email here. Once done, you have to click on register and the registration will now be started. And it's giving me a recommendation that create a bootable disk, then boot your PC from the bootable disk. Okay, so we will get back to the software and here it says registered successfully and give you all the plan information. So you can click on OK. Now you have to click on create boot disk now. Then select the operating system, whichever you are using like Windows 11 64 bit or 32 bit, 1064, 1086. So I will go with my Windows 11 64 bit. Then you have to select a USB drive to create a boot disk. So just make sure that you have connected your USB drive that we will be making a Windows Boot Genius. So I've already selected it from the drop down. Then I have to click on next. Now here it says, please make sure that you back up all your data because all the data that this drive contain will be deleted. So if you have anything in this drive, kindly take the backup first, then proceed with this option. So click on continue. And the process will now be started. Now it will take few or couple of minutes. So you will have to wait here. Okay, so finally it took about two minutes and it says boot disk created successfully. Now next what we have to do, we need to insert this bootable disk into the computer where we have the problem. Okay, so take out the USB from this computer, then plug in to that computer where you have the problem and then start your computer in the BIOS mode then there you have to change the boot order so that the next time when we restart the computer it can boot with that particular USB and next time when the computer will be starting you will see this kind of page that says loading files and now you will be getting this kind of a screen with a new windows logo and navigation now this is a default our windows coming from 4ddig so that you can go and troubleshoot your problem and once it comes up it will automatically bring up the smart system repair so what you will have to do just need to click on automated repair now select the drive where you have the problem so let's say i have problem with my local disk c where my operating system has been installed i will select it and then you have to click on startup repair so now this will take some time so you will have to relax here you can enjoy your tea or coffee or you can do any other work and leave this until the all kind of troubleshooting has been and the repairing has been completed. Okay, so finally it's been completed and it says automatic repair completed. Please restart your computer to see the repair result and even it give you all the information what exactly it did. 
Now before restarting, you can see there are many more options that you get. If you want to reset the password, then you can also do this. If you want to go with the software key recovery, data recovery, then you can also do all these options here only. Okay, so as of now, we are talking about fixing the problem. So I will click on restart. Then click on restart. And the computer will now be restarting in the normal mood. I can see the Windows logo. And I'm very sure that this tool will be surely fixing my problem because I have already fixed the problem before. Okay, I can see now my account is coming up. Bingo. Alright, so now you can see that I can see my Windows 11 desktop. Everything is the same that I had before. There is no difference. The only difference is that the blue screen problem has been fixed. Alright, so guys, as I said, by the end of this video, the solution that I will be sharing, you will be having the solution with you. So in case if the top three solution doesn't work for you, then you can go with this option. Of course, this is a paid version, but this will be helping you a lot to fix many other kind of problem. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully this uh, information will be useful for you. And if you found this useful, then make sure that you hit the like and subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.